Hi, it is good to be back with you again. And let me invite you for this brief meditation. And let me start out saying, asking you, are you greedy or are you generous? It's something that we need to, to think often because our heart is very tricky on this issue. Uh, Jesus said in Matthew 6, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And on verse uh, 22 of Matthew 6, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. So here's a warn for us. And uh, there are two main characters uh, our heart and uh, our treasure. You see, uh, we need to have a heart that is connected to the right treasure. And uh, every weekday I hear on the, on the radio this one guy that gives financial advice on how to invest your money and, uh, and all those things, you know. And it is not wrong to pursue uh, to be to pursue wisdom on how you invest your resources. It is not wrong, but here Jesus is 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 bringing us to a different realm of investment, a different sphere of thinking. Jesus is calling us to open our spiritual eyes to perceive another kind of investment, another kind of return of financial or profits or financial return. So uh, let me explain quickly. Uh, most of the time I hear people saying, I would love to be more generous if I had more money or if I had more resources to give it away. But this is not the point. On Matthew 16:10, uh, Jesus told us, whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. So now we, we understand this is not a matter of amount of how much, uh, but but the uh, the focus here is the attitude of your heart. Jesus goes on to say that uh, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Your treasure, where is the treasure? What captures the essence of your soul? What captures your imagination? What is it that gets a hold of your soul and your heart that will make you uh, e even either desperate, you see, or make or forces you sometimes to doubt God's goodness towards you? It's a very important thing for us to think. It is, it is a, a, a tremendous statement saying, in other words, that either greed or generosity will control your life in this uh, aspect, in, the, in this context that we are talking about, if you understand me. So greed is, is a form of sin that is very insidious. <clears throat> Why? Because we seldom notice uh, uh, this sin entering our soul and little by little will take control of your heart. Say so why? Because always it is always our neighbor that is greedy, not us. We don't see, we seldom see ourselves as greedy persons. We have this tendency to be uh, to look at ourselves more like a generous people, don't we? Yeah, that's right, but uh, we we need to open our eyes to this aspect of our lives. You see, um, 
Storing up treasures in heaven touches the issue of spiritual rewards. Although, let me hasten to say that we are not saved by works. Uh, it doesn't matter the amount of money that you give to the poor or to your neighbor or whatever you do with it. It does not alter your status before the Lord because we were saved by grace, not by works. Although we have to admit one single factor that even fact even a single glass of cold water given to a thirsty person does not go unnoticed by the Father. You say, what you mean by that? Matthew 10 says, If anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. What kind of reward is that? We cannot be sure of every detail, but one thing I can be sure of, the reward we have is the spiritual reward and the feeling that we are doing God's will. We know it. I'll, let me make a parenthesis here. We don't need to feel. We don't base our faith on feeling, but we know for sure that when we do that, we are obeying God. Finally, finally, let, let me let me finish saying that um, greed is something that assaults our soul, and generosity is an attitude of the heart that fights with it. It is obvious and clear. We are always and constantly in this with, with this conflict of the soul. Should I be more generous? Should I not give? Should I give? Should I do this or not? You see, but one, one thing is crystal clear. Whenever we are generous to our neighbor, we are generous to God's creation. We are generous to this world. We are generous in giving to the poor. Whenever we do that, we will always be like Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless his, his word. And may the Holy Spirit fructify in our hearts this loving attitude of giving and giving and giving more of ourselves to our uh, neighbor. Amen. Bye.